Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood, where we have acquired means of passage across the Ruby Sea to Doma, but unfortunately we're also in, uh, deep, deep trouble with the local authorities. Plus, we still have a Namazu to question. We probably gave him some brain damage, but let's just hope not quite so much that he doesn't remember what has been going on. Hopefully he's not suffocating face down like that. Well, that was effective. Yeah, you're gonna be for dinner if you try to... Okay. Oh, snap. Okay, so he got in trouble with the laws too. So yeah, bribery. Which probably explains how we're gonna get out of trouble too. Well, you made no attempt to stop please, so there's that. Do it! Do it! Just not here in Kugane, unless it's in this office, otherwise we might get in trouble again. I don't know. Don't know. I don't know who else you're gonna sell what we've done to you to. No, we keep him here for now. Yeah, we're gonna get Gosetsu and get the hell out of here. But you just literally turned around, so you already broke that rule. I'm keeping at your word, Gyoto, against my better judgment, but then again... If you don't want my shoe halfway down your throat... Well, mayhap that is enough fear to instill in, in, into you to not pull some more fishy business with us ever again. Let's hope. So, we're not gonna be arrested for just sitting outside here? Like, we, we, we were just in trouble last night and we're literally right outside here. Um, sh should we not be arrested on the spot? Like, like what are the rules? I mean, I'm glad we're not, but...
Like, you think we would be, like, restrained or, or, or something uh, until, you know, the appropriate bail has been set or anything like that? Nothing? Maybe we should have brought a snack. This is taking a while. Okay, I mean, I mean, as long as we don't hear any screams or sense any smoke or, or, or fire or we're not subsequently arrested or anything like that, I mean, it, it seems to be okay. Like, we're not, we're not, nothing, as long as no immediate danger is happening, I guess we got no choice. Even if this is boring as tar. Did anyone bring any good books? You'd think we'd bring some reading- How about you? What? Was that? That was Gazetsu. I'm sure of it. He's in trouble! Lise, wait! I suppose we should follow her then. Well, I can't get in my much more deeper trouble than we already should be, so... Victory to the Samurai! <laughs> How many is that now? Ten in a row! Kazetsu! Oh! This is a surprise! What in blue blazes are you three doing here? Good to see you too, bruh. I could ask you the same thing. We've been looking all over for you, and then I suddenly heard you screaming. Well, he's more asking what we're doing over here in the east, but I suppose that will suffice for an answer as well. Hmm, it would seem there has been a misunderstanding. Allow me to explain. So... In summary, you started a brawl with some off-duty Imperial soldiers and were subsequently arrested by the Sekisugumi, whom you somehow befriended and convinced to set you free if you could defeat a given number of them in single combat. So, I guess they settled this Yeldu's Ishgardian way, I beat the crap out of somebody and I get to go free? Am I understanding this right? Ten bouts for my freedom, aye. It is but a pity you came too late to witness the last one. And with that, I'm free to go, yes? Our word once given may not be broken, but we pray you make every effort to avoid future altercations. Circumstances notwithstanding, my lord. We are honored and grateful to have witnessed firsthand the skill of a Doma Samurai. Yeah, this is why I call them the rental cops. Ah. And we had just concluded negotiations. I gather my assistance was not required. What, 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 did this guy not know about the deal of, of t ten fights I win my freedom? Like, no, like... Maybe see how it goes first, and, you know, then if he doesn't win it that way, okay, then you can bribe him out of it? I love how we all just completely just shrug there. It's great. Apparently.
apparently I seems I would need to upgrade my gloves. Okay, we'll do that then. Alright, so clothing fixed. Yeah, yeah, me too, Lise. Well, that's good. At least no, our bribery money did not go to complete waste. So we basically have a get-out-of-jail-free card. Although, although I, su I suppose this should actually, you know, instead of you know, settling for, you know, Gosetsu's freedom. This should settle for, you know, the trouble that we cause, but surprisingly, that's never really brought up. That, you know, like, we're in Deep Crap too. Like, did everyone just forget about that? Yeah, like, we came here because... Things went to crap on the other side of the sea. Group hug, everyone? Group hug? Except you, Gyodo. You can get the hell out of here. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on with that? But is she still in town? Like... Why has nobody seen her? So now at least their, their master who they have spoken of... No, he has a name! Hooray! So we get to find him first then, I take it. Yep. Are, are we not going to mention that we also got our asses kicked by Xenos? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. We, we, we've, you've had enough adventures with us, okay? You deserve a break. Make friends with the Tyro again. You guys didn't get enough development in your relationship in Heaven's War, despite the fact that you were the only two of the group, you know, sitting in the same spot for so long. I really wish they did more with that. And they're not going to do anything with it here either, but 
I, I just really wish you, you would see a bit more camaraderie between the two. You know, like, more... I mean, obviously, they, they, they certainly do care about each other's well-being and all that, but... You know, there there is there is no like specific banter that goes on between them, and I'm kind of disappointed about that. Even even now, because again, it's it's being repeated here. But I I do very much appreciate how Elise is like, no, this is what you're good at. You you stay here. You're you're better of benefit to us using you know the skills you have in a time and place where they're actually useful both here and, and to our cause. So I really like that, like... Yeah, he, he just wants to get the heck out of here. <laughs> but we, we all know, you know, she she's not a big fan of, of politics. Not because she doesn't understand the importance of why they exist, but it's more just all... the red tape and, and bullcrap that she absolutely just does not enjoy putting up with but she knows you know he has has skills in that department and she knows that there are time and a place where he can put them to good use and she's encouraging him to put them to good use just because she has a personal dislike I went to the wrong thread didn't I yes I did just because she has a personal distaste of it doesn't you know again doesn't mean she she doesn't understand the value in it Like, it might have played out differently if he'd been like, yeah, you mind if I stay here? And she'd be like, Ugh, no. Like, that that would be, like, an entirely different kind of interaction. But, no, you're not alone. I, I'm just going through this. And, and I very much appreciate that you want him to grow and refine his skills that, are, that he's skilled at. Redundancy. I know. That's what happens when you make up half the things you're going to say off the top of your head and you don't have a planned script for all of this. I remember the water, how it turned crimson in the morning sun. A shimmering sea of rubies stretching from horizon to horizon. You could almost believe it went on forever. But beyond that red expanse lay a land in turmoil. On the shores of Othard, our Doman brothers struggled in vain. So yeah, welcome to zone number three. Hi, Lise. What's going on? What up, girl? So, wise to not piss them off. Got it.
Okay, and I guess we're we're uh, gonna take a level up now. Okay, all right. Works for me. Okay, so nobody has new dialogue. Yes, one does not simply sail into Doma, huh? Okay. You, you just got done expositing, you know, how this place seems to go on forever. Are we sure swimming is a good idea? Like, how do we know the distance isn't, isn't much further than it looks? Okay. Alright. You know, I have a long coat on, Lace, like, really weighing me down over here. Do you happen to have any flippers of some kind? Alright, but what about Alize and Soroban? Like, how are they getting across? Are they swimming too? Is she getting a ride on this turtle shell? Are they taking a ship? What? And yes, we can sprint through the water. Which is nice. Now I'm all wet. And now my hair is going to smell. Yeah, I question that too. How do we know there's not jellyfish or anything in this water? You know... Let's go have a word with this fellow. I have to say, I love how they made a convenient staircase for everyone to just so readily climb up and not have to sit here and jump on rocks all dang day. That's a nice little sediment you have over here. A bit rustic, but hey, if it works. Racist? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's an innocent question, but. <laughs> well, we're here to introduce ourselves. has new dialogue. Okay. No one's got anything new. Alright. What? You're even gonna pay for us too? Soraban, you are such a bro. Although, why why couldn't we get this from the East Aldenar Trading Company? Like, as Hancock says, you know, we both have a vested interest in liberating Doma, so... You know... Even though it's 
technically not a good idea because the Hingashi, you know, people have uh, kind of outlawed that and stuff. Um. Hey, nothing's gonna stop them from doing it anyway. The cops are corrupt. Like, really. Tripled. Oh, you're a bastard. Is there something we can do in exchange for the money? Anything? Selling my ass kicking services. I smell trouble afoot. Oh, but of course I have stuff following me. Please don't kill me. See my friends in the background there. No! No! Get away from me! No! No! Do not want! <laughs> okay, so... None of you three have any idea what's going on. Sorban's got a bad feeling about this, but... For the love of crap! You know, I really miss Eureka right now with, you know, the crappy line of sight that the monsters have and... You know, you can actually sneak behind them. Ugh, so used to that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What's wrong, Sora, Ben? Gentlemen, I'm told you are most unreceptive to my associates' requests. I realize you do not look kindly on the Confederacy and her ways, but if you refuse to pay the ruby tithe, <laughs> your safety in these waters cannot be assured. Spare me your concern, pirate. Your feeble attempts at extortion will not work on us. You remain at large because we allow it. Because you are such insignificant little pests that we see no need to swat you. Yeah, you're hardly being threatening when you, like, have pretty pitiful weapons on the other side on that shore there. But if you wish to risk the ire of the Viceroy, by all means, fire upon an Imperial vessel. Give us a reason to bring the full might of the Galian Empire to bear against your pathetic fleet. Bastards!
Gentlemen, surely the fact that you have such limitless resources at your disposal gives you all the more reason to spare some few coins for the less fortunate. All talk, just as I thought. Come, let us away. I have no time for this rubbish. Well, the Imperial's got a point there. We're all the same to them, aren't we? Savages to be ruled or slaughtered. Well, the Confederacy is literally exploiting people for passage, so... And they're not shy about admitting that. So, I... I, I can't say I really blame the Imperials for being like... Screw off, I ain't paying your toll, you know? You ain't got the muscle to back it up. Go away. They've always balked at paying the ruby tithe. But they were never so eager to pick a fight. The problem, you see, is that many of my comrades in the Confederacy are of Doman descent. And the acting Viceroy, well, she's none too fond of Domans, to say the least. If we take any action to hinder the safe passage of an Imperial vessel, she'll accuse us of attempting to ferment rebellion and brand us enemies of the Empire, which we can ill afford to be. Like the man said, we're all talk. And where did the Kojin stand in all this? With the winning side, of course. They're mercenaries to a fault, eager to offer their services without coercion. The Shellback could tell you more, though something tells me he would rather not. Wait a second. He's not here. Sorry, Ben. I don't understand. If the Garleans are causing the Confederacy this much trouble, and if so many of you are Doman to begin with, why aren't you willing to fight back? Well, because they don't have the means. <laughs> Spoken like a true friend of the Doman Liberation Front. If you're planning to rouse us with noble words and grand promises, don't bother. We all know what the Imperial Army can do. Compared to them, we're boys with boats. Besides, what ties a man may once have held to his home are forsaken upon joining the Confederacy. We look out for none but our own. Be that as it may, our livelihood is under threat. And the captain will need to decide soon whether we're to go down in a blaze of glory or bow and scrape for crumbs from the Emperor's table. All while, our friend the Viceroy continues her purge of Doma's radical elements. I believe she's holding court in one of the fishing villages even as we speak. That she-devil! Her perfidy knows no bounds! She must be stopped! Come! Let us find Soroban, and put us here at once! Tell the others that these ones have paid. We all have places to be. Oh, I thank you for divulging such sensitive information to us. Works to our advantage, I suppose. Where the heck did Soroban go, though? Like, look at the, look at this guy! Look at this guy! He's still mad at me! <laughs> oh, that is great! At least it's not that they don't care, but... You only have so much manpower and so much weaponry to contend with the Empire. Half the reason we're over here is because we got our asses beaten. And we're trying to split their forces up so we have basically an opening in which to actually fight back. Like, don't forget about this. Like, like they're probably in a similar situation. We can't just feed them empty platitudes. We have to offer them something tangible.
don't like the way this guy is looking at me. Please don't come over here. Well, at least we found him. At least he didn't totally bugger off. But I mean, even if he did, he fulfilled his end of the bargain, did he not? He said he would take us across and... Well... He paid our fine, so we're free to go across. Well, you did sort of explain this to us in the offices to begin with, that... Cogent of the Red and Cogent of the Blue are different, and you are of the latter. So it's not like, you know, we, we can trust you to, to, that you're not just making this up on, a spot, uh, on the spot to excuse your actions or anything. There, there was actual proper exposition, even if the full details were not given to us at the time. But, you know, what we saw backed up what you told us earlier, so... Still works. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. We, we've done quite enough. Oh my god, I, to I told you guys he was looking at me funny. I freaking knew it. Knew it, knew it, knew it. Oh, god. I picked up some baiter or something that they all smell when I took a dip getting over here, didn't I? Ugh. <laughs> but thank you for watching, friends, and I shall see you next time. I have whatever the hell this thing is to beat the ever-loving crap out of for interrupting me. Until then, my friends.